Now, the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, Komodo, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to, to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security, and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Click on add an allowed app. Click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in this location. So you can open the game folder binaries win64 and select this exe file. Click on open. Click on add an allowed app browse all apps and check if there are any other exe files. So if you find any other exe file, uh, add all the exe file. So in my case, that's the only exe file. Yeah, so add the game over here. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again, open the game folder, select the game exe file and then click on open. And once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game. In my case, the game is already added. So in my case, it is already added. Now, if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, so maybe the game location is different. If you have the game on C drive, uh, then in that case, you can open C drive and then program files, I think, and then Epic Games or maybe program file 686 epic games and you uh, maybe it will be in program file 686 or program files and find the epic games and then you can add the game now next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to roll back graphics driver now i'm showing for nvidia again so go to your graphic card website and then select your graphic card select the right operating system and then click on find and then on it will take you to the next page scroll down click on view more version so right now the latest version the game ready driver is yeah the latest one game ready is 576.52 so whichever is the latest uh, if that does the, does not work in that case you can try maybe the previous 576.40 or maybe 576.28 click on view download it but when you go for installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to roll back graphics drive uh, sorry uh, run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in the window search box and then click on graphics settings over here and then click on add desktop app and then again go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then select the game exe file and then click on add once the game is added click on the game and then select high performance over here and then launch the game now if you have the game on Microsoft Store, in that case, uh, you can, uh, if you have the game on Xbox app, like if you have it over here, in that case, uh, you can 
uh, click on add Microsoft Store app and then find the game in the list. Once you find the game, add the game and then click on click on it and then high performance and then you can check. Now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam or Epic Games Launcher or Steam uh, or Xbox app, you launch the game from the game installation folder. So make a right click in the game, select manage, click on browse local files. This will take you to the game installation folder, open the game folder and then just make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work you can make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game if that does not work this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step now if you have the game on epic games launcher do the same thing if you have the game on xbox app make a right click and then go to manage and then go to files and then click on browse this will take you to the game installation folder open the game folder content and over here you will see this game launcher helper option you can make a double click launch the game and you can even try this oak game binaries gdk if you see if you are able to launch the game make a right click and try this maybe it will work maybe it will not work but if you receive this error i think the game launcher one will work you can just make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and this will launch the game let me close the game for now and the next step is to verify the game files now to verify the game files you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties and go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is complete launch the game and then check epic games launcher you can go to library i don't have the game on epic games launcher so you can click on this three dot you will see verify option so verify the game file or you can go to manage uh, game and then over there you, you will see the verify option so verify the game now if you have the game on game pass users make a right click manage and then go to files and then click on verify and repair and then launch the game next step is to run steam or epic games launcher as an administrator now for this first of all close steam if the steam is running go to steam and then exit and then you can relaunch steam but make sure that you run it as an administrator make a right click and then click on run as administrator similarly uh, for epic games launcher user uh, you can just make a right click exit epic games launcher and then you can launch epic games launcher and make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then check now the next step is to delete the config folder when you delete the config folder all saved settings will be lost so to delete the config folder you can open file explorer go to this pc now open c drive now open users folder open your username folder open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and okay i'm sorry go to documents folder over here straight away go to documents folder over here open my games over here you will see borderlands 3 folder open this folder open saved folder now open the con here you can see the config folder so make a right click copy this folder if you want to create a backup you can create a backup once you have a backup uh, you can delete this folder make a right click and then you can click on delete and once this is deleted now launch the game if that does not work then rename the save game files when you rename the save game files um, all the game progress will be lost you will you have to start everything from scratch so create a backup first so to create a backup you can go to documents folder my games borderland 3 make a right click copy this folder paste it to the desktop once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder make a right click then to the rename.old and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work the next step is to epic games launcher players update epic games launcher so you can go to epic games launcher top right you will see your profile icon click on it then go to settings option 
if there is any update you will see update now option or install service now so click for more info so if over here if you see update option update your epic games launcher so update everything from here and then you can launch the game then you have to restart uh, epic games launcher it will restart automatically now the next video exit out of steam beta now for this you can go to steam and then go to settings and then go to interface option over here and over here if you see client beta part beta participation you can select no beta chosen and then restart steam you have to close steam and then restart steam and then check next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description so type in cmd in windows search box and then make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator run as administrator is important click on yes to allow paste the command over here oh sorry so copy the first command and paste it over here hit the enter key now run the second command paste it over here hit the enter key now run the third command paste it over here and then you can check now still not working the next step is to go to this location now for this go to the game installation folder make a right click browse local files open the engine folder extras folder redist folder en us and here you can see this setup file make a right click and then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow and then you can check so agree then click on install and let the installation complete once this is installed you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to close epic services and then relaunch the game from the game installation folder so you can just make a right click and then go to task manager make a right click on the start menu go to task manager and if you find epic services running somewhere any kind of epic services so i have the epic games launcher open let me close this and then if find any other epic services running yeah, 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 yeah. so close all the epic games uh, and then go to the game installation folder and launch the game from game installation folder now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can close this launch the game and then check if that does not work this time you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this empty this and then follow the next step epic games launcher can go to epic games launcher settings you will find you scroll down you will find the game at the bottom you can click on the game and there you can try the command line arguments uh, dx11 or dx12 in the launch option and, and then you can check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this you can open windows settings and then uh, now i forgot one thing uh, for um, game pass user uh, if you want to run the game as an administrator make a right click go to manage and then click on create desktop shortcut and you can go to desktop you will find the game shortcut over here and then you can make a right click on the game shortcut and then click on run as administrator and then check now update windows now to update windows go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update in my case i have stopped the update for now due to some reason just ignore it click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart the game and after the system restart launch the game next step is to install visual c++ file now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website install these visual files so click on and download this x86 and x64 so download this file and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install x64 user click on it and then run this exe file download both x86 and x64 and then if you see repair click on repair if you see if you see install option hit install make sure you install both the files and once installed then restart the computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to 
increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive. So uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed. So select the drive and then once you select the right drive, now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total RAM. So you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator. So type in calculator in run box and then click on OK. And over here, uh, it's 16, 1.5 into total RAM. Total RAM in my case, it's 16 RAM, 16 GB. So one, 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 Two four five seven six, and maximum size is three into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case that is sixteen gigabyte. I have sixteen gigabyte of RAM, so sixteen into one zero two four. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is three into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into three. That is. 49152 49152 49115 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to do not overclock. So if you have overclocked your computer, set it to default, close all the overclocking implications. So if you have MSI afterburner, revert inner, or any kind of overclocking implication running, close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off NVIDIA overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, which you're not using, disconnect all the USB adapter from the computer. Disconnect additional controllers. So if you have any extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, update the BIOS, and then log into the computer and then launch the game. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% when you update the system BIOS. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when you are updating the BIOS. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer, and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to different drive like D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.